the Olmec civilization is one of the earliest and most influential societies in Mesoamerica. The Olmec are considered by many scholars to be the mother culture of Mesoamerica, and their artistic and cultural innovations served as a foundation for later civilizations, such as the Maya and the Aztecs. They are believed to have emerged in the tropical lowlands of what is now southern Veracruz and western Tabasco, Mexico, around 1400 BC, and their culture thrived until around 400 BC. The Olmecs actually predated the Aztec Empire, and the name Olmec was actually the name the Aztecs ascribed to them. The Olmec showed clear signs of organization and sophistication not seen previously in the region. One of the most notable aspects of Olmec culture is their monumental stone sculptures. These sculptures often depicted human heads and figures, animals, and mythological creatures, and were typically carved from large boulders of basalt or other hard stones. The most famous of these sculptures are the colossal stone heads, which weigh between 6 and 40 tons, and feature detailed facial features and strange helmets. The features of these heads are somewhat of a mystery because they do not resemble what we would classify as a typical Native American. The heads feature very prominent and detailed features that include thick lips, a wide nose, a furrowed brow and thick cheeks. Some say these heads resemble African features and that the Olmecs are possibly linked to the Egyptians in some way. While others say the features are Polynesian-looking and that Explorer's Island hopped all the way across the Pacific Ocean to settle in Mexico. Still others say these sculptures point to Chinese heritage in some way. One of the most important Olmec sites is La Venta, located on an island in the Tanala River in present-day Tabasco. Excavations at La Venta have uncovered numerous artifacts and monuments, including several large stone thrones, a series of stone columns, and a number of smaller sculptures and figurines. The site also contains several earthen mounds, which are believed to have served as the foundations for important public buildings. Excavations at La Venta have revealed evidence of sophisticated hydraulic engineering, including an extensive system of canals and drainage channels. Like other Olmec sites, La Venta was eventually abandoned, likely due to a combination of environmental and social factors. The site was largely abandoned by around 400 BC. Another important Olmec site is San Lorenzo, located in the Gulf Coast lowlands of Veracruz. Excavations at San Lorenzo have revealed a number of massive stone sculptures and monuments, as well as the remains of a large ceremonial complex. San Lorenzo is also notable for its massive earthen mounds, which were likely used as platforms for elite residences or ceremonial buildings. The largest of these mounds, known as the Great Pyramid, measures approximately 120 feet tall and covers an area of nearly 100,000 square feet. Excavations of the Great Pyramid have revealed evidence of a complex system of rooms and corridors, as well as a number of elaborate burials, including one that contained the remains of a high-ranking Olmec ruler, along with an array of luxury goods. This pyramid structure featured flat terraced platforms that were built up over time, with each new layer of construction adding height to the structure. One of the most striking features of the Great Platform is a large raised area in the center of the structure, which is thought to have been used for ceremonial purposes. This raised area is surrounded by a series of smaller terraces and stairways, which may have been used for seating or as access points to the platform. The site also contains evidence of Olmec agriculture, including raised fields and irrigation canals. San Lorenzo was likely a major center of political and economic power in the Olmec civilization, and its influence is evident in the artistic and cultural traditions of later Mesoamerican civilizations. The Olmec are also known for their advances in writing and calendrics. Although very few examples of Olmec writing have been found, scholars believe that their symbols were used to record important events, religious ceremonies, and astronomical observations. The Olmec writing was composed of a series of glyphs or pictograms, which are arranged in rows or columns to convey meaning. Some point to this as being further evidence of Egyptian or African influence because they resemble Egyptian hieroglyphics. One of the most famous examples of Olmec writing is the Tuxla statuette, a small jade figurine discovered at the site of Tres Apets in Veracruz. The statuette is inscribed with a series of glyphs that are thought to represent a calendar date, and it has provided valuable insights into the Olmec calendrical system. The Olmec developed a complex calendar system based on the movements of the sun, moon, and planets, which was adopted and refined by later Mesoamerican civilizations like the Maya. The Olmec are also credited with developing the number zero, which was also used by the Mayans. Despite their cultural achievements, the Olmec civilization declined and ultimately collapsed around 400 BC. The reasons for their decline are not entirely clear, but some scholars have suggested that environmental factors such as drought or volcanic eruptions may have played a role. Others point to internal conflict, disease, or social upheaval as possible causes. Whatever the cause, the Olmec civilization made its mark on history and the region for thousands of years to come.
The Aztecs and Maya both benefited from the Olmec knowledge and culture. Their monumental stone sculptures, advances in writing and calendrics, and agricultural innovations continue to fascinate and inspire people today. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more.